Hello, everyone, and welcome to the WVU Women's Basketball Sports Chat here in the thedpost.com. I'm Justin Jackson here with our women's basketball beat writer, Todd Murray. And, Todd, uh, let's kind of get right into it. Uh, the Big 12 tournament, uh, you know, after all these weeks and all these games and scoreboard watching and seeing what everyone else does, uh, all the seedings are set, and the Big 12 tournament starts this week. Uh, WVU kind of surprising uh, as a three seed. Uh, Picked to finish uh, sixth, I believe, at the beginning right. of the season. Kind of talk about has this season been a is this third seed a, a surprise for this women's team, and and uh, you know where can they kind of go from here? Yeah, I don't I don't think many folks would have would have tabbed this team for a third place finish, especially with eleven new players on the roster, eight freshmen, you know, relying on a bunch of those freshmen, mm -hmm. you know, to play major minutes. Uh, no, nobody really knew you know how this would play out, but Mike Carey had a good feeling about this team from the start. They they went overseas in the summer for mm -hmm. a little trip and got to play together and apparently they they liked each other. They all got along. That was apparently an issue last year, so that's been a big change this year and uh, you know, they've just continued to, to gain some confidence. They've lost some games, but, yeah. but they didn't, uh, you know, they didn't let that mess with their heads at all, and they've kept coming back. And, uh, you, know, th uh, you know, a third place finish is, uh, you know, exceeded most people's expectations. You uh, look at, uh, you know, this team is kind of always kind of centered around uh, Brio Holmes, uh, but uh, some other parts have kind of begun to fit uh, throughout the season. Uh, Brio was, you know, uh, first team uh, all big 12 uh, talk about the, you know some of the other awards that uh, the, the team won here at the end of the year yeah i just uh, obviously a big one tynese martin was the big 12's freshman of the year and on the all freshman team she has been that other outside threat that they really didn't have last year someone who could shoot the ball from mm -hmm. out there and take some of the pressure off uh, Bria and she has has certainly done that this year. And you know, Big Twelve teams as the season has gone on, they have uh, they've really really gotten on her. You know, pretty good. They've really come to respect her shooting. And you know, and then you've had uh, you know even Lene Montgomery is a junior, but she has you know doubled her scoring output mm, from yeah. about four points a game to nine, and uh, you know has you know has shown that you know she knows what she's doing uh, in there a lot more this year. Of course, has continued to be a big you know defensive uh, threat there. Uh, they head into the Big 12 tournament a little shorthanded at uh, point guard. Shania Ray uh, twisted a knee in practice, and uh, and the third string point guard Olivia Segi from Mordentown High has suffered what they believe to be was a torn ACL. So it looks mm. like her year is over. So that uh, Jessica Morton more than likely will be you know coming back to start at the point uh, this weekend as they play Kansas State in that first Big 12 tournament game. Yeah, I was just going to say up up first here is Kansas State in the 3-6 matchup, uh, which is uh, the, the late game of, of the of the quarterfinal round, and then they would possibly uh, move on to a, a, a semifinal matchup against uh, the, the second seed. Kind of talk about the, some of the matchups here in the Big 12 tournament. Yeah, the first matchup, Kansas State, uh, they, they beat them twice in the regular season, played them very early in the conference season. West Virginia shot the ball extremely well, over 50% in each game, and and Kansas State did not shoot the ball well. And uh, like Coach Terry said, if, if they're making shots, they're, they're going to be tough to beat. Uh, if you get past to Kansas State, you're most likely uh, looking at Texas yeah. there in, in the semifinal round, and, and after that, uh, uh, Baylor. Baylor. <laughs> so that's uh, it, it's not an easy road to the to the Big 12 tournament title, and if they won it, they they certainly will have. Uh, Will have deserved it, but again, uh, you know, sort of like the men's team, the, you know, these games are important. The more wins they can get, they improve their NCAA seed. So there's also that uh, big picture aspect as well. All right, Todd, thanks for your time. We appreciate it, and uh, make sure to keep checking up for uh, the latest updates on the women's basketball team in the Big 12 tournament right here on thedeepost.com. Thanks.